quick tutorial for you today to show you how you can set up a type form to capture some lead info and then immediately follow up that lead submission with a phone call from your Synthflow lead qualification outbound assistant. So if you're in Synthflow, you're going to have your typical assistant screen where you can create an assistant and write a prompt, see another tutorial for how to set up a basic assistant. But we're going to give it three things, the background information, some script instructions, and some key features that we want this agent assistant to embody. The next thing we're going to want to do is have a type form. And then finally, we're going to go and connect them together in a workflow that looks as simple as this new submission, make phone call. Okay. Take the info, use that info to make a phone call within a minute or so. So step one, let's create our assistant. We have a lead qualification assistant, all the usual stuff, give it a voice, a language, a model, a custom greeting. And then we're going to dive into the prompt background information for this one. We are going to say a role, a persona and a mission, which is going to be lead qualification, knowledgeable, friendly, professional to make contact with a potential lead that's completed a form on our website. These script instructions are next. This is a step-by-step -step guide of how your assistant can follow the conversation and do things. Ignore steps three to 11. That's for a following video. But the first two ones is going to, what we're going to concentrate on here. Number one, begin by introducing yourself as Joe from Synthflow and say, thank you for completing the form. This makes the user aware that, oh, it's a call from Synthflow. I just submitted the form. This is pretty cool. Confirm the leads details, politely confirm the following details are correct. The company name, the industry sector and their occupation. This is quite important just to make sure we're getting the right call. It's the right person and pays a little bit of attention to the user. It feels good. Now we have this, we can see if we click off, we now have these variables here, including one more, um, first name, company name, industry and occupation available to us to use in the call. Okay. We're not going to put them on the test call in here. We're going to pass them through using our workflow in a sec. Finally, the key features we want our agent to embody or our assistant to embody is effective questioning, product knowledge, consultative approach, qualification, expertise, and adaptability and clear communication. The more information you give your agent and assistant, the better it is. Next, let's move to Typeform. So Typeform is a really good form builder. Highly recommend you use it. This isn't an in-depth tutorial on how to use Typeform, but I've created a simple form, a conversational type form to capture our details in this way it looks like. We have six questions. What is the name of your organization? How would you describe your organization's prime industry? There's some choices there. Which best describes your role within the organization? How interested are you out of 10? The lead scoring is good. In which country is your organization based? With a list and some personal details, including the phone number and the first name, which we can use in a phone call. So if you want to add this or tailor this in any way, press add content and manually choose the questions you want to add, or you can just click create with AI, give it a bit of description and away it will go. Okay. Next, we are going to want to connect these two things together with our workflow builder inside of Synthflow. So if you haven't built a workflow before, this might be a nice one to get started with. Click on workflows. We're going to go back and we're going to recreate this workflow we've just seen here. Click new flow. We're going to click post form call lead qual. The event type is make call after the trigger event. Once it's loaded, we have to choose what trigger we want to use. And in this case, it's going to be type form. If you haven't connected type form before, after you click new submission, you're going to ask to connect your account. We've done it. So we can just click this one and then find your form. Next, we are going to want to input and complete our form to pull some data through that we can use in our phone call. It's a simple as this click test trigger. It's going to now wait for some info. 
I'm going to go to a live version of our type form to so refresh it to make sure it doesn't think we're using the dummy version that actually gets the result through. We say shiny, prime industry is technology, agency owner, 10 out of 10. Organization is based in Spain. My name's Tom Osman 710126. Dummy phone. And then submit. Back into our workflow. Voila. We have this information straight through, which we can then use and map into our next step. If you want to check it, you can. It's all there. It's all good. Next, let's click make phone call. Connect all your accounts up. If you haven't done it before, you click new connection. We have, so you press Synthflow, this ID. Now we need the model ID. The model ID comes from your assistant. Open the assistant, get the model ID, back into workflows, pop it in here, and you're good. Next is a phone number. This comes through our results. The data to insert, pop this boy open, click the arrow, the phone number comes from the answers tab right at the bottom, number seven, and then click the phone number. If you hover over it or hit insert, once you click it, it'll pop this dynamic variable into this section, which means the assistant can use it to make the call. The name also comes, I think, from the answers and number seven, number six, number five, number five. Okay, that was the easy part. Next, maybe a little bit more fiddly is the custom variables. And you remember when we looked at our assistant before, we have a number of things that we want to get from the questions. We have first name, company name, industry, and occupation. So let's get those. The way we pass these in is just by going first underscore name, and then company underscore name, and then occupation, and industry. And then same thing really applies. Click into the value and then track down, track down those values from your answers. So the first name I think was from, I don't know, the company name was from the first one. The occupation, nope, that's wrong. The occupation was in The, okay, that's also one, also two, agency owners, also two. Let's give ourselves a bit more room here. Industry, it's a little bit fiddly, but once you're set up, you're good to go. Industry. Industry was also one, I think. And then first name was from, again, Number seven, five, five, definitely five. Okay, fiddly, set up, now we're good to go. We have all the info in there. We can now actually try and see if we can make the assistant give us a phone call to have a chat. Click test step. Here we go, let's ring our number with this info let's see what it says hello hey there is this tom it is hi tom i'm joe from synthflow thanks for filling out our form just to confirm you're with a company called shiny in the technology sector and you're an agency owner right that is absolutely correct good to speak to you joe okay then your assistant's going to go on fill the script, go through all the questions, qualify the lead, send that knowledge or for that info to Slack or Google Sheets or your CRM, wherever it needs to go. Lead in, call out, one minute, two-step automation flow. Super nice. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you on the next one.